that's how you know. It's hot. It's fresh. Can't go wrong, man. Ooh. What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I'm headed to Ken Folk. What up, Ken Folk? I'm headed to Ken Folk, guys. Um, they sell, like, southern dishes. Ken Folk Southern Eats and Treats. I'm about to head over there now, guys, to get me some of this good old southern food. I'll get back with you guys in a bit, because we about to go in. Y'all ready? Let's go. All right, guys, so um, I went ahead and got me some oxtails and rice, uh, a little mac and cheese, got that good old cornbread. You know, I'm about to dive in on this really quick. Um, you know, I like Ken Folk, man. They're, they're a family-owned business. They local, you know what I mean? So shout out to them. Um, they helped me out a lot. They actually helped me out with the, uh, I don't know if you guys got to see my uh, video for Thanksgiving where I fed the homeless. Ken Folk actually helped me. They provided the food for me, so Shout out to them. They always been there for me, man. So I got nothing but love for them all day, every day. Shout out to you guys. Uh, so I had to come through because I never let you guys actually, you know, see how I eat when I'm there, man. I want you guys to check it out. Uh, you know, let me know what you think. So I'm going to show you right now what I got. So with my dish, you know, it's pretty... Uh, it's a southern food, man, but at the same time, you know what I mean? It's how we make it, you know what I mean? You got to look at it like this. You know, you got the, the, the Jamaicans, they make the oxtail, they go in with it. But, so, you know, uh, we, we make it in the south too, man. So I can't knock the south for what they do either, you feel me? Uh, so I'm going to dive in on that. But I want you guys to understand uh, what, I can, what I consider uh, a good restaurant. You know, it's not just about the food, man. It's about the people. You know what I mean? And it's about how you care about the people. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, Ken Folk cares about the people, man. They all about the people. They actually open their doors on Thanksgiving to feed homeless people, man. Uh, people who are going through things. So, it's just, it's things like that, man. Uh, that that brings joy to me, you know, and, and allows me to bring the joy to you guys. So, today's word, guys, is compassion, Okay. I see it in the world today that we lack in a lot of compassion. You know, everybody's against everybody. Nobody's for anybody. It's just, it's just really bad right now. So it starts with, with one person. That's all it takes. Um, uh, what, you know, I don't know. I just feel like, you know, it, it, we can go so far if we're just a little bit more compassionate and, and to be compassionate, you have to be caring. You have to be thoughtful. You have to, uh, you know, be able to put others before yourself. So there's a lot of things that factor into that. And, you know, if you can be that person, man, kudos to you. The more people, the better. Uh, you know, I'm trying to be more compassionate, as you guys can see. I'm going down this road based on true compassion from the heart. You know, it's not about money or anything like that. Uh, it's really about people who don't have the opportunity to do this themselves, uh, you know, who are trying, but, you know, they're shadowed or, or clouded. You know, by the perception of where they're located, what they sell, things like that. So, um, you know, I'm here for those guys. You know, I, I would say I'm here for the little guys, but, you know, in the community, these people aren't little. You know what I mean? People know them. So, shout out to Ken Folk for being uh, a compassionate business, you know, and a compassionate restaurant that cares about the people. Um, caring so much that they decided to feed me. So, I'm going to go ahead and get me something to eat and uh, let you guys enjoy with me, man. So, Check it so, out. Like I said, guys, you know, I went ahead and got the oxtail, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you can tell when you got that good southern food. You want to know, know how you can tell? When you open your food up and you, you get a little hot and you start sweating because your food being cooked fresh right in front of you. I tell you, y'all going to learn something from me, man. See my plate? That's what's 
what I'm talking about. So I'm going to dive in on that, guys, because, you know, that's what I do. Good old mac and cheese, man. Look at that. Check that cheese out. Look at that. Look at that. That's how you know. That's how you know. It's hot. It's fresh. Can't go wrong, man. Ooh. I'm telling you, I love it. So that's what I'm saying, guys. You got to be compassionate. You got to care, you know, about people. I know a lot of people say, you know, I don't care what people think about me. Da, 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 da. And I understand the feeling behind that isn't you saying that people don't matter. It's just basically you saying you're going to be who you're going to be regardless. You know what I'm saying? And I understand that. You know, but at the same time, let that person who you decide to be, be great. You know what I mean? Be compassionate. Be caring. You know, just think about others. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what we should strive for every day, man. Every day. And I'm trying to do that. And I want you guys to do it too. So, it starts somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, who, who knew it would have started with food for me? Who knew the challenges that I would face individually growing up, you know? Who knew what it would take to be great? You never really know. You know what I mean? You never really know, but... It's not for us to worry about what it's going to take to be great. It's for us to... Strive for greatness. You know? People don't understand that... The greatest accomplishments come with risk. They come with challenges. You know, if you don't have to risk anything, if you haven't been tested, you know, you don't run into any obstacles or challenges, I'm telling you, you're not striving for greatness. Any person can tell you that. I know you guys can attest to it. And no, it's not just me. You know what I'm saying? Who else? That's what I'm talking about. Like, you know, it's, most people know what they want. And, and even if we end up being complacent, I know that wasn't the original goal. So, you know, just know you have people out there that do care, that do support you guys and whatever you decide to do. Um, and I'm one of those people. So if you're ever looking for that support, man, hit up your boy, Mr. Grub, man, and then I'll be there. So shout out to Ken Folk, guys. Like I said, the food is delicious. I'm going to go ahead and dive in on this before I lose weight while I'm over here trying to gain it and eat. I'm about to lose it because this food is hot. You hear me? And I'll get back with you guys next time, man. Comment below and let me know if there's any places you guys know about, you know, that you think would be, um, you know, a great asset for me to check out. You also feel like, you know, they're compassionate and they're community involved individuals. They're trying to do better, um, but there's things in their way, man. If you know of any places, let me know. You know, I definitely check them out. I definitely put them to the test because that's what I do, man. So until next time, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, hit that notification bell, man, so you guys can get all my latest content, um, you know, because I'll be dropping it daily for you guys, all right? Remember, today's word is compassionate, guys. So from day four, move, move, move silently, but be compassionate, all right? This your boy, Mr. Grubb.